Be blessed by the divine. Wonderful seeing you, Dr. Dhawmani. Be blessed by the divine. Really, so it's really amazing to see you here. All right. I have with me Dr. Dhawmani. She has done MBBS, DGO, MBA, PhD, MSc, PGDYTD, and has been practicing as a physician specializing in uh, OBGYN, general practice, social health services, family medicine, women, child health, mental health, uh, medical and spiritual counseling. And I think this goes on, right? I don't think we will be able to just finish your introduction itself. There's such a long introduction, but brilliant work you have been doing, Professor Dr. Davamani. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction, uh, uh, sir, because uh, it is over the course of my life, it all just happened. I can't believe that being a doctor, I could work in so many specialties. Slowly, I will share about that, how like I am so blessed to work in so many specialties. Brilliant. I have with me this beautiful book that you have written and I have gone through this book. This is called What They Don't Teach You at Medical College. What prompted you to write this book? Wow, that's really an amazing question. Thank you so much for uh, making me uh, speak to this uh, question uh, because we are all post-COVID survivors, COVID survivors. Uh, so my story begins with the um, COVID days uh, when unexpectedly I was uh, caught alone in, in Dubai. But uh, at the same time, there is this World Community Service Center. I was doing the uh, session for adolescent uh, children as well as in the doctor's meeting. Uh, the center is in, uh, in Aliyar, Coimbatore. Uh, once when I went, I, it was really an amazing center and the spiritual teachings, uh, what I heard was so simple. And in front of my eyes, those lovely adolescent girls, we, we taught some exercises called Kaya Kalpa and Deer exercises. They came and shared with me, doctor, all my uh, periods pain is gone. I have been suffering since so many years. It was really amazing. This caught me into the, into the system. Then I slowly started uh, learning that. I did my MSc yoga in that. Uh, and then I started learning more about that. And those people also were so impressed uh, because I'm speaking about science and spirituality. I'm trying to connect uh, science. I'm an allopathy doctor where when you come with pain and disease, I give you medicines. Uh, but combining it with spirituality was something different for me also. So this COVID, we all know that how just like that we transformed ourselves into online. So I was called from all over the world. The center is present all over the world. And uh, from US, Singapore, UK, Malaysia, India also from Hyderabad and South India, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, like that. So I could speak in Kannada, English and Tamil. So when I was giving them the sessions, clubbing science and spirituality, my speciality is on women and children. I thought, why don't I put it in the form of a book? So when I told my husband, he also made fun of me. You writing a book, even I couldn't believe myself. But still one friend of mine, she helped. Doctor, you have a dream? I will fulfill that. She is also an author called Naseema. She stays here in Dubai. And I wrote a book on holistic approach to women's health. It was a great success. This, uh, this I wrote it in English. Then people were so impressed that they wrote it. Uh, they helped me to write it in Telugu. They also helped me to write it in Kannada. They helped me to write in Tamil also. So I went to the different cities and then uh, did uh, the, uh, the book release ceremony of that. And many people are benefited. Then a thought came, yeah, I am doing to women and children. But we doctors, we know during COVID time how each and every one of us went through. Actually, I am lucky that I got caught in Dubai. Because with the service, uh, the Dubai Ministry of, um, the Dubai government gave us golden visa. The, uh, it was a great honor. We just feel so blessed that the government is uh, just appreciating that. 
but social media was showing something different i was literally shattered you don't know many doctors literally changed the view about the medical profession during this covid time because um, in covid time people were working day and night and i i had a friend who shared uh, uh tawa i wish i will die in this covid because she was so much stressed out in this uh, covid session so i thought i should do something for my colleagues doctors that's how this what they don't teach you in medical college brilliant excellent work i mean very inspiring your entire journey of how you are converting your personal experience and your professional knowledge into a social wealth by writing books and giving it to people and helping them so congratulations to you it's not easy to write one book but you have written two books wonderful job now tell me you talked about the covid times and how doctors were stressed out during that period and i'm sure most doctors overwork and ignore their health right so what practices do you follow to take care of your health that's really amazing question first thing i'll ask is guess my age they always tell me 10 years younger so i feel so blessed that is one happiness i get out of that that is the secret is uh, from childhood i have been following this uh, yoga uh, yogas uh, like uh, my father is my great inspiration so uh, when they uh, introduce us to religion culture values Uh, that has a great effect on every child so from childhood these things we ha- we start with so we start with om namah shivaya initially this is how we start with uh, or any like ganesha whenever we go to exam we pray ganesha then there will be lakshmi puja like that different uh, uh, gods we are introduced then slowly as we mature uh, the concept of god itself changes because i have been working in a, uh, in a, a catholic institution uh, it's a, in st martha's hospital bangalore where i was working with the nuns when i was working with them people thought one day i will also become a nun and start serving for them and now that i am in middle east for 23 years i learned this culture it's every culture every religion has an amazing effect Uh, so from grade 8 onwards my father put me in yoga that is vivekananda yoga kendra in bangalore svsi university so when i got my first salary i did the yic course in uh, in vivekananda yoga center and then i also have done my pg dyt the post graduate diploma in yoga therapy for doctors in svsi university itself then i told you how i got uh, influenced with the sky yoga system and uh, so uh, every day i get up at 5 uh, o'clock in the morning 5 to 7 is a special time for me uh, to be with the, with myself so i do physical exercise i listen to morning affirmations i go out for a walk because sunlight is also very important especially when you are with nature when you see the beautiful sunrise in the morning every day it really amazes me the, when the sun is rising it really amazes me so that morning two hours when i spend with the quality time i do sky yoga also it looks very simple exercise but it stimulates your blood circulation air circulation as well as heat circulation so with all these um, uh, two hours spending for ourselves we can spend the whole day for the um, family for the profession for the society i do a lot of social services also what about meditation do you meditate at all yes uh i i really enjoy this meditation a uh, meditation session uh meditation uh, in sky yoga there is not one meditation there are nine meditation i was really amazed with this uh, uh, like i started with shanti meditation and then i learned uh, different type of meditation like um, uh, panchabhuta navagraha meditation which is really so amazing for me like uh, because um, uh, uh, we always whenever there is some dosha they go to navagraha they do this puja and that puja whereas in this system i learned that 
just by doing meditation we can delete all the negative energy and we can attract all the positive energy we just go into a ecstatic state when we do this meditation uh, even one more meditation i heard uh, like i do uh, that is the um, uh, which stimulates all the endocrine systems Uh, so the night that is nine center meditation where we concentrate on each endocrine glands so when i am clubbing science and spirituality it is really amazing so each point in this uh, nine center meditation uh, it show it is concentrating on one endocrine glands like uh, like manipuraha thymus gland thyroid gland pituitary pineal glands like we just concentrate on that uh, where we these are the endocrine glands which produces the hormones which is needed for our uh, uh, happy and healthy life so these meditations uh, i can keep on talking about this meditations it really makes uh, our mind uh, so calm to face any situations i have a created a weekly calendar for myself uh, for instance every day in the morning i do ninth center meditation except for fridays when i do shanti meditation and in the evenings the rest of the meditations i do the irani lay meditation the divine state conscious meditation panjabhuta navagraha meditation duriya meditation duriya tita meditation panjendriya meditation and etc i am navagraha panjabhuta navagraha meditation so these meditations are created in a particular schedule for me and i have a habit tracker it's called habit bull it's on my mobile phone and you know say so every time i finish my meditation i put a tick in that so it helps me to get into that habit for instance today this morning at around 5:20 or so uh, i sat down and did my nine center meditation just like you mentioned the nine chakra meditation in our kundalini yoga and i totally agree with you our meditation and our exercises kayakalpa yoga truly energizes you you become a totally a transformed high productive individual during the course of the day many people think that you know they need to earn money meditation cannot give us money but that's really not true right what do you think about it because the doctors are often driven towards materialistic life and, and they have a great responsibility to the society as well and they also get very highly rewarded so there is this constant push to go and earn money and succeed in life many doctors spend a lot of money for their education so they are they they look at this as an investment which they need to reap rewards for the rest of their life how do you balance it it's really a very very interesting question because uh, this is the, the this is how the public feels exactly what you what you told but from a doctor's point of view it is it is it is entirely different because to even today when i ask somebody some children why do you want to become a doctor they will always say i want to do social service i want to help people like how i was influenced to become a doctor is when uh, my mother's both the brothers and their wives are doctors so as children when we used to go to their place in karu i see a lot of people coming from villages they used to put the patient on their shoulder and cup they used to bring them in the horse carriages and uh, uh, those days the transportation from a village was really difficult uh, we used to think this patient is going to die but i don't know what my auntie and uncle will do this patient will get up and will be so happy and i have literally seen the patient's relatives falling at their feet you are my god really you saved my uh, my child you saved us so i used to think there is something magic in this profession why don't i become a doctor one day because that is a dream from childhood you have to put but it's not so easy to become a doctor with this so much of challenges ahead uh, but once what i learned today is just because of my dream which i put it in my mind it just happened 
in my life i became a doctor is just a, just a miracle uh, when i get back and think i studied in bangalore medical college one of the most prestigious colleges in uh, government college in bangalore it is just a miracle once you have the thought in your mind and work on that it will just happen so every doctor wants to help a patient help a person relieve from their pain and uh, and suffering Uh, but uh, these days it has become more commercial as um, as you know medical system has become a business because a business people realized that uh, as doctors we know life is the most costliest thing in the world as doctors when we know that and that is why we are saving people and that is why people call us god but we are not god we are angels of god only if god helps us with our knowledge we can help you and you should have trust and faith in us so all these are getting shaken up uh, these days and uh, business people realized uh, oh life is the costliest thing and they are uh, putting rates on that uh, and the education also there are so many uh, good students who are not able to get the medical seat because they don't have money even for a government seat the the money they cannot afford to pay other than your inspiration from your aunts and uncles how has our swami ji system meditation methods yoga helped you to balance between your commercial need you have to have some need in your life you can't do every service free of course you have to earn money and your spiritual work and your social work so the three apparently seemingly contradictory directions and one is commercial another one is spiritual third one is social how do you balance it how does yoga meditation our sky system help you to balance these three dimensions it's really it's really i am blessed to have come into this system where one word individual peace world peace that is what i i learned from from vedatri maharshi from this sky system uh, because as you said i am working with three angles one side our medical profession is becoming commercial another side managing a family is not an easy job these days uh, people who are uh, uh, handling children they know it is a 20 years project um, becoming pregnant uh, delivering a baby and 20 years taking care in indian culture as long as we are alive we take care of our children as uh, nowadays ch- children don't want to get married and even they get married they don't want to have children even if they have children it's a great challenge to take care of their children i have three children and both my daughters are doctors and my son is an engineer my husband is also a doctor he is a cosmetologist so you can imagine what type of challenges i i had in my family it is a great challenge but when we see them settle down well and prosperous you feel it is worth all the sacrifices just because i am a doctor that doesn't mean my life was so different and easy like what everybody faces i also faced in my uh, in my family life in the same way in my profession with all these challenges uh, what is happening we see in the social media uh this uh, how doctors are uh, uh, when something goes wrong they highlight the social media highlights as if he is one of the worst doctor in the world and uh, it really demotivates us we see 100 patient one patient something goes wrong uh, we regret it so badly uh for what happened we analyze it we discuss with our uh, colleagues and then we correct ourselves it's not that we we want to make a mistake and give problem to the patient so you can imagine how professionally it is so challenging so sky yoga system help me to balance thank you very much for being there thank you all for joining this wonderful show i hope to see you in our next show be blessed by the divine bye everyone